Welcome everyone, this is Zanta with Repo Products. Today's video is on how to use the curtain system by face command in Revit. Here I am in Revit 2019. I'll start a new Revit project based upon the architectural template file. And in this environment, I want to be able to use the curtain system by face command. Okay, that command is actually located right here. Now, when we work with that curtain system by face command, it requires us to have a mass object that has a face. So in order to do that, we start with a file tab, head over to New, and create a family. We'll head over to the conceptual massing subfolder and pick mass.rft Revit family template file as a starting point. In the conceptual massing environment, we can go ahead and draw using model lines the shape that we need of the mass object. We can select the model lines and use the create form command. And then we can grip manipulate the faces, the edges, the points, and make it whatever we want. The current system by face command, as well as some of the other building maker tools that are available in Revit, are designed for you to work with faces that are non-vertical. And that's why we work with mass objects. So for example, again, if I pick these edges and I really start to morph this mass object, we no longer have any vertical uh, type of faces to do standard walls. Now that our mass object is created, we load it back into the project. Revit will turn on the visibility of mass objects, and then we can place it. Once it's placed, we can look at it in 3D, and we can see what we have to work with. Shading the view will give us a little bit better visibility of the mass object. Now when I go and click Curtain System by Face, the command initiates. In the type selector, you'll see you have one curtain system to work with. That's the default. It's 5 by 10. And if we go to the type properties, you can see it has a grid layout of a fixed distance of 10 feet and a fixed distance of 5 feet. You can change this to whatever you want. You can duplicate the file, uh, that particular system family, and change it to whatever name you want or any pattern that you want. I'm just going to say custom for now. Click OK. And in the grid spacing and layout, you can specify different aspects, such as fixed distance, fixed number, maximum spacing, minimum spacing. So let's say, for example, we want maximum spacing at, say, 15 feet. And then we want to adjust for mullions, for example. And then perhaps we want to set the grid 2 to be a minimum spacing of, say, 3 feet with mullions. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can also assign the grid mullions for everything that we want. So for example, I'm just going to do one inch square to make it easier to see. Uh, obviously, you can make your own and you can swap it out. There's a lot that you can do. There are videos I already have created for creating custom profiles and especially using them in a curtain system. So look for a video that I created a while back on curtain systems in Revit and creating custom profiles for those. Now that, that I've created my custom curtain system, I'm still in the curtain system by face command. I can pick the face that I want, and it knows to use that face. Now, if I only want that one face, I click Create System and I'm done. If I want more than one face to act as a single entity of current systems, then I pick multiple faces, like this one, this one, and this one. So now I have three faces that I have selected, and that's the curtain system. It's basically a collection of curtain walls acting as a single system. When I'm finished, I click Create System, and it will go through the process of building the curtain walls for those non-vertical faces. Click Modify, and the command is finished, and you can see what you have to work with. See? And so you can use this tool to create some very interesting designs with faces that are non-vertical. Thank you very much for watching.